I'm Des Kennedy. I'm the director of Gulliver's Travels, which is being produced by Youth Music Theatre UK at the Lyric Theatre in Belfast. So this production is a brand new musical. Uh, the book is by Andrew Doyle and the music is by Duke Special and we've adapted the Jonathan Swift novel into a complete story with one clear narrative flowing through all the four different travels which people would be familiar with from the novel. Give me a chance. Tell me your name at least. Usually I'm working with a cast of 12 people, for example, if I'm working on Once, it's 12, 12 people on stage and it's 12 or 13 or 14 instruments in this show with 38 young people and then there's some of them are actor musicians and then working with the actual musicians as well. It's, it's a much bigger task in some ways, but equally enjoyable for all those challenges. It's been amazing working on this project with the young people in Belfast. Swift wrote Gulliver's Travels because he was inspired by the shape of a sleeping giant on Cave Hill. He wrote the book in Cookstown. It's really great to be sort of bringing this story home to Northern Ireland. The young people have loved the process. It's a brand new piece of work. Uh, Duke Special's music is amazing. This production of Gulliver's Travels will be sort of following the journey of one, one guy through about five or six different worlds. It will be similar to the original in that it's, we, we meet lots of different characters, um, but it will differ because the theatrical, uh, the theatrical constraints um, sort of mean that we have to work very cleverly uh, and use different types of physicality and stage tricks and different pieces of set and to try and get the scale of all the different characters. You are not meets. my son! You are a mistake. That is all. Please, sir, I haven't come to cause mischief. I am telling you, it's the Lord on my throat, John Spear, sealing it! Enough! I think it's absolutely essential that projects like this are supported by public funding and specifically the Arts Council. I am working in theatre now and I wouldn't be had I not gone through uh, the process of being a member of youth theatres I'm in Belfast and most of the youth theatres were funded by the Arts Council. I myself as an artist have also uh, been able to take up residencies and travel grants that have been supported by the Arts Council. If it wasn't for the Arts Council of Northern Ireland I wouldn't be working as a theatre director. So public funding is essential in terms of colouring the artistic landscape of Northern Ireland.